Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Technic Solutions. This is an additional video to our original video Radius Server for Wi-Fi authentication with Windows Server 2016. Click on the i button at the top right hand corner if you have not checked that video. In the previous video we configured our Active Directory, Network Policy Server and Certificate Authority. Then we tested our configuration by connecting domain joined Windows machine and a non-domain joined device. In this video, we will configure computer-based wireless network settings through GPO, which means we will deploy Wi-Fi computer-based wireless network policy to the end devices through group policy. Once the device is domain joined, it automatically connects to the Wi-Fi if that device is part of the security group where Wi-Fi profile is deployed. Also, I am working on a fresh video series, SCCM Current Branch Full Guide. Click on the i button. You can check that playlist as well if you would like to learn about System Center Configuration Manager from scratch. Okay, so let's get started. I made a small change here to my wireless router. So for wireless 2.4 GHz, I changed the SSID to test um, 2.4 GHz. Okay, so there's a space between test and uh, 2.4 gigahertz and uh, I will be using this SSID later during this video in our group policy object. Okay, and apart from this all of the settings are same. So before we go ahead and just test the wireless connectivity, if I click on my available networks and uh, click on test space 2.4 gigahertz, I will call it test 2.4 gigahertz from now onwards. If I click on that and then I click on connect, it will prompt me to add username and password. Okay, so once we configure our group policy object and uh, we deploy that wireless profile, it should directly connect to our Wi-Fi without asking for these credentials. So now I'm going to log into my domain controller, uh, which is uh, test-cert01. So then I'll open Active Directory so active directory users and computers so in here so i have test groups we had wlan users so i will create a new group i will call it wlan computers and click ok so i will right click on that and then go to properties members and we will add a new um, we will add a computer object so ch object types computers ok um, that is test-pc01 check names we got test-pc01 I have added to WLAN computers and apply ok so double click on that let's verify members we have that member here once we have that member configured uh, we'll go to the group policy editor so you can open from server manager click on tools and then click on group policy management um, you will see this window so click on your domain under domains so test.local and right click on test.local create a GPO in this domain and link it here and let's call it WLAN computers GPO okay and click on OK so WLAN computers GPO and under security filtering here click on add and we will add our security group which is WLAN computers and then we'll check names WLAN computers click OK so it this group his um, security group is added here and click right click on the group policy object and let's edit this policy so new window will open up and under computer configuration click on policies uh, Windows settings and in Windows settings security settings extend that in further security settings we go to public key policies double click on that and we will see certificate services client auto enrollment at the bottom double click on that and just enable it and uh, check these two boxes this one is renew expired certificates and any updates and uh, the second one is update certificates that use certificate templates and we'll apply and click OK. 
so the next one is automatic certificate request settings okay so double click on that and uh, right click here click new automatic certificate request you will see new window click next and as you know we are adding a computer based policy so we will select computer here and click next and finish so that's about it in the in this one um, I'm just fixing the screen so the next one is we will minimize this and the next one is wireless network um, policies okay so in the blank window right click create a new wireless network policy for Windows Vista and later releases click on that and the policy name is uh, WLAN computers policy and you can add some description here if you like um, I don't need any description apart from that here you'll see add button click on add and uh, infrastructure so that's the SSID that we will add that's uh, infrastructure SSID we are adding so profile name WLAN computers profile so here we have to add the exactly same name as the name of our SSID of uh, our router so you know in my case it's test space 2.4 gigahertz I will add that and um, click on add so select that I have uh, checked connect automatically when this network is in range um, connect to a more preferred network if available so let's just uncheck that um, and then click on security so in security authentication WPA2 which is fine encryption AES CCMP is fine as well and here authentication mode so we will change this to just computer authentication and um, so select a network authentication method which is EAP PEAP we happy with that um, small change we are going to do is click on properties and in properties here so as you see here connect to these servers so tick that box and enter your radius server um, name here so in my case it is a uh, test dash cert 01 I will enter fully qualified domain name test dash cert 01 dot test dot local and once you edit that name here um, so in the lower box here which says trusted root certification authorities um, you scroll down so I'm picking the uh, bottom one so bottom one is the latest one once I've selected this one I will click on OK and then I'll click OK here as well and um, here I will click apply and OK so once you finish with group policy object um, we click on in server manager click on tools and then click on network policy server so in network policy server we are going to add small thing in our conditions of one of the policies so the policy we created in our previous video so if I click on uh, policies I will extend it and then I click on network policies so we created secure wireless connections policy in our previous video okay so I'll double click on that and uh, I click on conditions so in conditions we have Windows groups if I double click on that you can see we have test WLAN users that group we added in the previous video so in this one we are going to add another group so the group we recently created WLAN computers so I will add that and uh, click OK and apply and OK so everything is done so I will go ahead and restart test dash PC01 because the group policy object we created it's a computer based policy so I'm going to restart test dash PC01 and I will be back once I connect with it okay so I am connected to test dash PC01 um, and uh, if I click on available network connections you can see here WLAN computers profile one thing I forgot to mention that uh, you could see SSID or you would see the name of the profile it's one thing or another so let's just test this one now but later on I'll go back and change that profile name to maybe um, test space 2.4 gigahertz so it will look user friendly so I'll click on that let's just test the connectivity for now I'll click on this one and I'll click on connect and uh, it will go against the server 
and it actually did the authentication and it is connected so i'll go back to our domain controller i'll change the group policy name so i'm connected to my domain controller and let's just change the group policy object so in group policy editor so we'll go to wlan computer gpo so let's just edit it and then uh, policies windows settings security settings and then um, wireless network double click on that right click properties we'll select the SSID we added the profile edit on this one and uh, let's just name it test 2.4 gigahertz okay once I do that I will click on OK apply OK and I'll minimize that I have given a quick reboot to test dash PCO1 and now I'm connected to it and if I click on available network connections now I see test 2.4 gigahertz okay so I will click on this and connect here we go so it is connected so that's all for this video like this video if you feel like this is informative for you and also subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet